And just when you thought we were done, we're not done. We've got another champion to crown. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> You're watching the Play versus Fall 22 High School Championships. And this time, we're crowning a champion for the Central Region. If we haven't met before, I'm made in India, and that's my man Suplex right over there. Suplex, we had a great matchup. <laughs> we saw a sweep in the previous match. Now we've got another one here between these two teams, and let's talk about who they're going to be. You've got Roland High School taking on Alabama School of Mathematics and Science. Whew. Probably a school that I would never get into. Intellectual students out here. <laughs> I can feel you there. I flunked out of physics, but hey, I'm sure these players have a good understanding with physics with their ball control today. And that's some nice shots today. That's some nice offensive plays, nice defensive plays. Of course, Arches Townsend outside of Roland High School with their player, Aiden, and of course, Polo Mark, let's talk about School of Mathematics and Science with their player, Marcus, and of course, this will be something special. I can't wait for these players to get in there, and now, I mean, I w we did see Golden State and, I believe... The Nets. The Nets, yes. Yeah, we saw those so two we'll teams, see. and it looks like right now you've got the Bucks, one of my favorite teams Ooh. to go ahead and use in 2K23, so of course, I'm going to be a on edge if they're not used properly you know what i mean sometimes when you're a game head you're like oh, this isn't what i would do but it's like bro you're casting no one cares what you would do you know what i mean uh, yeah, um, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but you've got the bucks taking on the bucks if i'm watching my eyes and if they're not fooling me i'm okay with this suplex let me get your thoughts are you okay with matchups being the same exact teams or is it a no-go for you Honestly, I do love seeing a mirror match. I know it's not everyone's favorite. I know people personally who have always been very against mirror matches as they find it's very frustrating to fight against the same style. But I also find that the player interaction, that player style, is so much more influential in a mirror match like this. And when you're able to truly overcome someone who's playing the same team as you, it's only something that hits the emotional that much harder. What better way to find out who is the best gamer than to just have everything else be even besides the individual than themselves. You know what I mean? Exactly. So if we both yeah. have the bucks, the way I utilize them, the way you, you utilize them, let's find out who has the best strategy and then let's find out who has the best stick skills. And that's exactly what we're going to get a chance to find out here tonight as it's Aiden taking on Mark, as we mentioned before. This is a best of three, as you see at the top of your screen. And this is just game one that's going to get going. Now, something that you and I are going to have to figure out when we mm. get to see the gamer tags is who in the world is who. This is a good point, as we see. <laughs> right, because it's like, I want to be like, oh, off here. XYZ has a lead, but it's like, I don't know who XYZ is. And I'm going to assume, yeah. uh, you know, we'll, we'll get answers from that. So, chat, bear with us, because we might say Bucks with the lead, Bucks with the deficit, Bucks with the three. We're not wrong, but we'll try to provide a little bit more insight, as uh, Mark as say, is the one who tough. might be down. If you know, maybe eventually get colors here for the teams, maybe we can have a bit of an easier plan. But I'm pretty sure we're seeing Mark in the green, as I'm assuming Gucci Mark would be Polo Mark. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna assume Mark is down 0-2 at the moment. Mm. And my assumption would be correct. So Mark is in the dark green, and Aiden, who I guess we're going with uh, Rosary, is in the white. We saw it so far trying to play on the outside line. Fishing for those three if you need them. Get the ball started. Get the whole style and flow overall really just locked in as threes can really start shifting the momentum. Rosary with the nice patience having Middleton jump in the air as Middleton went ahead and finished the layup. I'm going to do that all night long, y'all. <laughs> Feel free to mute me. Nah. Muting the casters? Not on my block. <laughs> Gucci Mark trying to drive it right in. But not, he's slow on the inside line now with a backhand dunk there. So we're already seeing something a little different, right? It looks like, man, I, I'm going to do my best here, chat. But it looks like one of the individuals, and I got to look at the colors, has taken Brooke Lopez out and put in Bobby Portis. So it looks like Mark is the one who has taken Lopez out and put in Bobby Portis. That's something different. I haven't really seen that from players that like to use the Bucks. We'll see how that goes in terms of advantage or if it ends up being a liability. But it's Mark that tried to go to contest Lopez. And Giannis is going to go to and bring it up the court. Mark with it. Giannis going up against Giannis. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm here all night, folks. Giannis gets it right back out from the free throw line. Just the beauty of a head-to-head -head like this. Yeah, I know, right? 
the beer, beer matches are always. Hey, we've got fun, Tim but... in the chat. What's up, Tim? Pleasure Tim's to watch back? you play, man. Yeah, he's coming to hang out with us in the chat. Says GG, I played nervous the second game. Um, I actually thought Tim, you played nah. great the second game. I thought it was the first yeah. game in that first half where the lead kind of got away from you as Middleton goes ahead and gets the steal. Bobby Portis is going down the lanes. Now he goes ahead and cuts it to the right side for the three. Back out to Middleton. Mark with mm. it. Pick and roll. Giannis with the slip. Giannis is going to go ahead and get it. Look for the pump fake. There's the pump fake, but ah. no one is none the wiser. But Mark is going to go ahead and get the rebound right back. Yeah, you've got three seconds to make something happen. Nice little crossover moving. Middleton Aye. finishes at the rim almost, but it's going to be a foul call. Keep an eye on this, folks. It's the second foul on Giannis. That's something that could be troublesome for Aiden. Nice little free throws there. And by the no way, problem. shout out to the production crew for letting us know which team is what color because I'm looking at that yeah. every <laughs> single possession. So true. I'm telling you, yo, like production – where it matters you makes our mm. lives easy <laughs> makes our lives a good time they set up they set us up for success as brooke is looking to do the same thing rosary back over to brooke brooke's gonna take that shot bobby portis with hey. the close out great one now see this is the type of basketball i like and i'll say why because you've got bobby portis down low could have taken that one over the head of middleton but he brings it right back out to Giannis. two Quick minutes left here. in the first out from the logo we're seeing a huge shot from three and it's a nice <laughs> shot for Mark. You Where love was to the, see it. I really thought Lopez had a contest on that one, but I guess he just flew by him and no contest because that was a wide open shot and a knockdown. And here's Giannis on the right side. He's not going to shoot threes that often. Backs it back out. And there's Lopez against Bobby Portis. And he gets, a, I guess, an N.A. release. Yes, yeah, diving into the inside there, making sure they can at least score some points, keeping this back up. As we get back on the green side here, of course, Mark. Kind of extend that lead. Make it happen. Yeah, and I believe it's Aiden that's got the lead at the moment by three. Oh, is it? Okay, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to assume because, look, let's see. You've got Mark. That shot's not going to go. I wasn't oh, going to count on, on that one. All right, Aiden. The mystery continues. Who is who? I believe it's hey, Aiden on, that's man. up by three right now. We'll find out as that shot's Aiden. not going to go. Come on, man. Giannis with the rebound. <laughs> this is like playing Clue at sleepovers when I was 14. We're trying to figure out the answer. People well, in the chat are like, what's time. Clue? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Could you imagine? Not I, mean, up a look, I don't think people in the chat know what AIM is. As There we go. That's a nice Ooh. dunk by Mark. And ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. <laughs> well, I got to at least hit something here. Suplex was the, right. You, you hit the green but... on that one. I hit a red. <laughs> You got more knowledge than me in this game, at least. So, I mean, hey, you got those Ws. <laughs> nice little I'm defense. trying to hang in there. Nah, you're doing well, man. We appreciate you hanging out with us. We appreciate helping you, me my out. man. Keeping it moving now from the logo. Hoping for a charge. Try and get past the ever-standing wall of Aiden here. The court is frozen as I think about this play. Oh, something I just caught. By the way, shout out to Queen in the chat. I'll talk to you about something here in the second quarter. But that hey. shot by Middleton finds the bottom Dang. of the net. Green beans, eat your veggies. 14 to 6. As Giannis is looking to finish at the rim. No bucket. Basket doesn't count. As that shot came well after the buzzer. Shout out to Queen in the chat. Appreciate the love. And looks like Tim wants to join the 2K League. So, hey, uh, keep working at it. But obviously, make sure you concentrate on your school, your academics. But uh, making the league is not bad, man. I've got plenty of friends that play in the league, uh, champions. It's, it's always fun time. 100%. I mean, hey, people in the community, always give a shout out because when you're putting in the work to make a game like this thrive, that's where we love to see it. And I mean, hey, you can see Playverse is doing it, Central Region doing it, helping these players get in this bracket like this, and really letting them show off their stuff because this is where it's at, yo, on the main NBA 2K channel. You love to see some high act octane competition is coming in alive yeah that's exactly what we're getting here in this central region finale as it's gonna be brooke lopez don't you dare try to shoot that one now he's going up against ibaka surprise ibaka still plays in the league but there he is Giannis says he's just a rebounder and a screen setter and just like that is a rebound by ibaka Giannis has it now of course one more charge could be all it needs yeah, he's already got lead one more time. two fouls as well. Nice little spin move. The ref Boy. doesn't call a foul. Great defense there by Giannis on Giannis. And it's Giannis. 
<laughs> you remind me of like a narrator from one of the classic games. <laughs> Just like that same exact voice line being played back to back. Like <laughs> I was never in chorus when I was in school, y'all. Somehow oh, I got man. this gig, and that might be a good hey! one, and it is. Pigs can fly, and Giannis can hit a three as he knocks that one down. Absolutely beautiful. You got to try and shrink that down as much as possible. You don't want that lead to get out of hand. We've seen it get out of hand before earlier today. We've seen it be extra soul-crushing to see if you can just even make it attempt at a comeback. But at this point in time, you've got plenty of space to work with. We're so early in the match, only in the second quarter. We're just getting started here. One more shot on the side of Polo Mark. And we're going to be shooting free throws here as Mark's got the first one coming up. Or excuse me. My apologies. Look at those in and one. I was reading the chat. <laughs> Lost focus there for a second. That's on me. I'll try to have more eyeballs next time. We're chilling, dog. Follow Mark. Oh, he that defense on, but damn. Add blocker to the list of things that Ibaka can do outside of setting screens and rebounds. Mm. Great defensive play down low. Rosary with it now. Brooke Lopez setting the screen. And Bobby Portis tips it. Couldn't get the possession, though, as Giannis. Aiden, once again, ooh, oh, trying to slip it. in. Oh. Not quite. One more chance, and there it is. That's unfortunate, man, because Suplex, you had Giannis that went ahead and missed the shot. I believe it was on the rebound that he secured that he got the slashing takeover, which is going to give him crazy, crazy animations and can be very, very helpful on the fast breaks and in one-on-one -on -one situations. And mm. now here's Mark. Getting it down low to Ibaka, piss, passes it back out to Giannis. Six seconds left on the shot clock here. Trying to dive into the inside paint shot. Dirty. And there it is. Dirty Very spin nice move here. on that one. And you can see Mark has a 70% from the line, and that's helping Oof. him have the lead here. Great finish. And Aiden's trying to pick up the pace here. Trying to keep up with the uh, initial lead that Mark has set. All it takes is one good chance to really start Getting on that uh, momentum train of getting those steals in, getting those good blocks, not letting Mark play the game too much. You yeah, see right now, kind of break that out of that offense. Kind of back, break past the defense with that offense. They pass it to the inside, and an easy layup. Yeah, it's just been a back-and-forth ball game so far, but unfortunately, well, I guess it depends on who you're rooting for. Uh, you've got Mark that's got himself a bit of a lead here. Right, it is Mark, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to do this all yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Good God. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, dog. This is the mix. These players are putting us through it right now. <laughs> That's a little attempt on defense here. From the side of Aiden. Trying to make sure he doesn't get through, but an easy break into the inside. Mark has seen opportunities happen. Of course, going to capitalize every time he can. Shrinking down that lead. Little by little. Not falling behind too much here. We're just nine behind in the second quarter. But a minute, but a minute left. Giannis goes and tries to dot that one, but it's going to get stolen away. Yeah, that's not your bot, Middleton. Slow it down. Slow it down just a little bit. By the way, it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway according to NBA 2K, so make sure you go hey. ahead and type in your console in the chat so we can go ahead and hook somebody up with a little bit of a gift. You know Early we got holidays. Oh, what a swat away there Why? by Brooke Lopez. Smacks <laughs> that one outside, and here's Giannis looking to finish at the rim, and he can't get that one to go with Badge. Nowhere near getting the animation that he would have expected, but what a great block by Brook Lopez. Very, very solid stuff so far. I mean, you're just seeing the true potential of these players right now come out the shine as Aiden goes in for a big dive, trying to block that out. A little reaching foul, of course, getting a little too impatient, getting a little too antsy. We restart that play. Polo Mark, got plenty of time to work with. We see if we can get a couple more goals on deck to extend that lead. Sally, the only bot in this chat might be you. As Giannis <laughs> looking to finish at the rim, and he does it. He gets his slashing takeover as well. So we've got two Giannis's, both of them with a slashing takeover, and it should be a dunk fest in this matchup as we're about 17 seconds away from the second quarter finishing up. Very clean play so far. Of course, Aiden trying to dive in for that inside shot. Once Man. again, not quite able to make it. Yeah, you can see how tough that matchup is. And looks like Giannis went ahead and lose. Oh, nice little spin move and a block there once again. Don't even know if it would have counted if he had gotten it off in time. But nonetheless, it is 25 to 14 at halftime. Man, looks like someone's going to need to try to come from behind. And I believe it's Aiden that's down. I'm going to write this down here. I'm going to try to help myself. Yeah, no, I'm out. pretty sure. I'm bringing is, out the yeah, pens. Yeah. 
ladies and I'm, gentlemen. I'm almost bring confident. Out the pens. Unless the scoreboard swaps sides, Aiden should be on the bottom of the scoreboard, and Mark should be on the top, of course, leading that charge. It's kind of terrifying to be Aiden right now, trying to see if he can create that 11-point comeback. As you see, Mark just start draining these threes, and it's only getting, like, you have more and more work to do. All right, I've written it down. I'll show you guys nice. when we come back on camera <laughs> what my notes here are. But this is how you become a professional, y'all. You guys, it is, you, my notes are intense here. My notes are intense. Mm -hmm. And I'm full of sarcasm there is Ibaka is going to get called with an illegal screen. No, man, that's why I call you, call you the big bucks. Oh, I'm please. Saying. Well, I mean, speaking of big bucks, Stally needs 200K VC. I need 200,000 USD. So somebody hook oh, both yeah. of us up, please. Thank you. <laughs> Suplex, if you want to get in on this one, let us know as Giannis hey! is getting in on the action with the dunk fest that we talked about. I'm down for a party. Aiden, let's get this started now. Of yeah, course, Mark with a nice dunk there and making it a 16-point lead as Bobby Portis. That's the right side. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, that's a long two. And Bobby Port, you got to respect the hustle, bro. I mean, man, just diving at your own teammate. <laughs> I'm shocked. He's going in that deep. But at least the effort is there, like you said. Got to make it all count. You see Mark back on the offense. The executioner at this point, 14 points ahead, just hoping to try and seal this deal. Caution, we were doing some giveaways. Looks like the NBA 2K uh, Twitch chat. Had a couple of things going on, so be sure to hey. follow what's going on in the chat unless they've already picked out the winners. But here's Giannis backing down Middleton. Should be easy peasy as that's going to be a bounce back. Not going to go. Bobby Portis misses. Bobby Portis gets the defensive rebound. It's a strange world we live in, but that's what the game we're calling. Mark's got Over it. To... Mark back on the offense here. Aiden, you need to find a way to stop these threes. Now, the threes aren't too often, and that's true. Thankfully, at least. But, again, Mark is finding a way to drive in so often. Once again, trying to go for that two, but no dice this time, of course. Great job on the side of Aiden here. Keeping it simple. Keeping it solidly locked down. Once again, trying to go for that three. Trying to close down that gap. But a little foul one more time. Fuller Mark is too antsy. Yeah, he's definitely reaching, trying to play that good defense. It is 30-16 to 16 in favor of Mark. Who's on top of the scoreboard here is Rosary. Looks to dot the left side. Bobby Portis trying to guard Ibaka. And Ibaka just mm. too experienced down low in the paint. Gets the two to go. We should mark back on offense here. Hoping to keep the flow as it is now. You see Aiden just really struggling to try and keep up with that offensive. The amount of pace that they have set at this point is absolutely incredible. Yeah, really dictating... How things flow on the offensive and defensive side of things. Great little switch there that he went underneath the screen. And the alley oh, no! turns into a little bit of a layup, but that's fine. The points are the same. But a fancy finish at the rim, 32-18. Mark with a comfortable, comfortable lead. But Aiden's got plenty of time to come back in this one. And it starts right here. Nice little blow hey. by Bobby Portis, my man. Get a wheelchair. You're moving too slow. <laughs> Check out some turbo thrusters on that thing. Hey, barbecue and fries. I wasn't aware till I got a chance to hang out with the uh, play versus guys and gals. And they told me about their high school circuit. And it's been great, man. They do a lot of different sports. Yeah. One of them being NBA 2K. So shout out to play versus for making sure that the uh, youth is involved in the esports world. And here's two oh, seconds. No. Got to get something up. Bobby Porter hey. goes just in time and extends the lead to 14. And on that point as well, I mean, it's so important to get kids into the games nowadays. I mean, they already love them. You know they're already all playing Fortnite. Also oh, get yeah. them into a real game like, two, like NBA 2K. <laughs> get them into a game they can actually start competing in. And, of course, it's not only one thing to get them to compete, but it's another thing to really cultivate that talent, really make them get to the level they're at now, have them performing at the top level of this grand finals, and it's truly something like a spectacle to see because you love to see not only young talent, but talent that's really been enjoying the game and putting this much work in. And, you know, there's also obviously like, you know, a living that people can make, not just the NBA 2K League, but there's so many different mm -hmm. events that happen based off of 2K. I mean, it's it's truly a blessing. So, again, shout out to the partnership with Play Versus, NBA 2K, and everyone else that's involved here, the production crew. But here we go, locking back in this one as we've got under a minute in the third. 34-20, Mark on top, Mark with ball. Mark with the cut! Nice clean one, and the defense just fell asleep. Holiday had no chance to recover that one from the right cut that gets the easy two. 
little cameo from the cat there. <laughs> Drop us food real quick. Once again, you see Aiden trying to really make this happen. Just the offense of Aiden is a little bit slow. As we dive right into the inside, and there it is. Wait for that perfect opportunity. Of course, Mark's trying to bounce back. But are you really bouncing back? Even bouncing on this nice cushiony lead this whole time? I mean, you saw a nice cut by Mark from the right. Aiden went ahead and returned the favor from the left-hand side. There is no shot clock, so Mark is going to milk this one to take the last shot possible here in the third. 14-point lead. Do I hear a 17 or a 16? Mark, looking to drive inside, gets it out to Bobby. Great defense by Aiden. Mm. Just stuffs him with the contest. And that's the way the third quarter is going to end. It is 36-22, to 22, a 14-point lead for Mark was, of course, representing Alabama School of Mathematics and Science. You know, that's the thing. I'm sure Mark is over there saying, if I go ahead and take this shot at this angle with this degree in mind and the wind <laughs> is approximately 0.4 inside the stadium, that should be a green bean. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that's the calculations that's happening. 100%. I mean, if they're not teaching you that, what are they really teaching you there? I'm that's telling you. I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Where Aiden's like, bro. Muscle memory, green bean, you know? Nothing but. Different styles, different styles of play. As there's another blow by, and Giannis, is he going to take the three? Smart decision not to. Looking to get the defender in the air. He does, but he can't finish as Portis is going to come down with it. And on your point of different styles as well, I do want to shout out just how much these players have got really solid defensive plays. But on top of that, just that slight differential of fundamental play coming out from Paul and Mark, allowing him to score the instant score, score lead and keeping it and holding it this entire game, be able to not only hold it, but also make it even larger. I yeah. mean, you can truly that's see IQ. the fundamental difference here. That's IQ, right? I mean, if you already have a... 14 point lead, there's no reason for you to rush it, right? The clock is mm. in your favor. There's no reason for you to try to score fast pace, end up missing shots and the fast break opportunities on the other end. Milk the clock. No question about it. Pre-recorded? Nice yes, that's right. This was actually pre-recorded on December 13, 2020. Oh, you yeah. are watching this game from the PST. <laughs> yeah. Once again, you can see. Mark's trying to drive through, but that defense again from Aiden is so solid. Nice steal here. Get a nice breakaway. Huge counter opportunity here. We're going to pass, but what a block from Mark. Another steal. We're going right back, yo. Yeah, here you go. Giannis is looking to pile it on as Mark with a little spin move. Doesn't find any space, so he kicks it back out to Holiday. Holiday with the Gatorade. He has low stamina. And here comes the alley-oop attempt by Giannis. Is he going to hang on the rim? No. You might have gotten silent lunch if you hung on the rim a little too long. As Dot's the right side, a little bit of a bounce back, so that's not going to go. Bobby Portis with the rebound. Giannis has possession. He's going to bring it up the court. Three minutes left here in this game one in the grand finale of the Central Region. Really incredible awareness here from the side of Polo Mark to be able to not only score these shots, but be able to get the most optimal and most surprising shot on Aiden that they can. I mean, they're keeping it, their deck varied, making sure that the same plays are coming out all the time. So Aiden has to stay on his toes this entire time, and it's tough to keep up like that. Rosary looking to cut into this deficit, but he's got to get a three, and he's got to get a three now. Back out to Obrebaca. That's not the shot you want, Man. but if you can green it, who am I to tell you anything? What difficulty is it? It's Superstar. That's the mm. difficulty we're playing with. And Ronnie's in here somewhere. Look, I don't know if Ronnie's in here, but maybe I could pretend to be his long-lost brother. If you know, you know. See Aiden as well. Let's play that defense one more time. They're trying to get caught off guard here. That steals him where you can, but five seconds on the shot clock. And Mark just truly taking his time, like you said. There's no reason to rush. Not at all. And what a block there by Aiden. Or at least it looked like a block, but it might have been a shot clock violation. Either or. Great defensive play, and that's the momentum you want to carry into game two. But you really, really need a three, and that might be a little too deep for Middleton. Had to come back up, and by the time he did, he got the ball stripped away by Middleton. Here's Giannis. Marcus Defense well. gets back. Yeah, he's got Middleton down low in the paint. Kicks it back Whoa. out to Ibaka. Ibaka with the shot. Not going to go, and there's Bobby Portis that gets the defensive rebound. Huge toss. Ibaka now. Rosary. Trying to catch like as soon as possible. Aiden, you need this shot. You need this chance. Make it a three. Pass back to the outside, and now it's time. You see the opportunity right there. Here we go. That's money. Yeah. 
Green beans. Somebody in the chat said he's down 30. Come on, man. Do some math. You ain't got to find <laughs> X. You ain't got to worry about Y equals MX plus B. These come kids, on. one of them is from, oh, Polo Mark, is from the Alabama School of Mathematical Science, and you're bad at math in chat? These are kids. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> That's a nice little finish there. And look, don't look now, but we've got a nine-point ball game. You've got to try to double-team and force a turnover here. And here comes a little bit of pressure from Giannis on Giannis. If you're Mark, you again. once again need to be smart. Milk the clock. There's no reason for you to take a shot with more than five seconds left. And that's a foul reach in by Giannis, the third. That's the foul to give. The next one's going to put him at the line. Now nah, we know you're being sarcastic. We're just having a little bit of fun, man. <laughs> We're, We're just having a little bit of fun, that's all. <laughs> Please do not report us to HR as Giannis. I mean, Mark just – Mark didn't even do anything. There was no pump fake. There was no slick movement. Just had to go right back up. Yeah, we got some good stuff going on right now. Of course, Aiden once again trying to make that in, but just not quite enough. Gucci Mark trying to get that counterattack going. But nothing really happened too much. Yeah, he's got the lead comfortably. Ooh. And he's going to go ahead and take game one as he what finishes that one at the rim. 44-31. Eight seconds left for Aiden to make it a 10-point ball game. If he can get a three to go, and what a block, and that's wow. the way you want to go ahead and end this one. But, of course, Aiden wasn't going out that way. He wanted to go in and get a foul. Bobby Porter's going to knock down the first. And there's the second. Knocks down the second one as well. With two seconds left, not much to work with. That's going to be a long range whiff. No worries there, though. First game going to the side of Mark. This is looking really good. Yeah, I mean, great job by Mark to go ahead and make the adjustments. And, of course, you had Aiden that made the adjustments as well. But we talk about it often. If you've got two teams that are the same, if you've got two players that are the same, you can tell I was, you know, all excited. My hair is looking a little crazy now. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a fun part of when you just come on a camera like that. But great job by Aiden to try to stick with the game plan. But unfortunately, Mark was just a little bit too much in calculations with subbing in another player and trying to use uh, the strategies that are worked out for him. He went ahead and used Giannis very well on the defensive side and, of course, finished at the rim very well as well. We'll take a quick break here. But what do you think about that game one before we go? No, I was off some really impressive stuff. I do want to see some defensive improvements from both teams to really try and lock down that shot potential. But above all else, we got to see some more aggressive offense. Aiden, not quite able to answer back for Mark's seemingly unstoppable offense. We saw some really good defensive plays, but again, that difference is clearly being shown. And for the second game, we're going to see some really, really solid adaptations. And not just adaptations, but able to see to so really utilize that knowledge you have of the game, that experience, those hours you've put in. Got to show them off because it's now or never as we get into game two. Match point for the side of Polo Mark. Well, look, I'll fix my crazy hair later on, but when you've got the central region <laughs> finale going on, I don't need to take a break nor a Kit Kat. Let's get into the game two action and let's see if we are going to crown a champion here in game two. Well, if we're going to get a game three forced by Aiden, it looks like Mark is already going with the Bucks, and Rosary says, I will match you, and I'll call. As it's going to be Bucks taking on the Bucks, and I've got my cheat sheet ready to see who's going to be on which side. Looks like Rosary is going to be on the bottom, which means it's going to be Aiden on the bottom side. Here we go once again. Mark on top. I forgot to show you guys my cheat sheet. Can't can't wait to show you how you got how that looks, but looks like adjustments are being made. So we'll try to show you our lovely faces if possible. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, Welcome quick, back. Here, I try to go, fix go, my hair, you know. Uh, mm. But we want to obviously make sure we keep the integrity and you know let the adjustments be made. That way, no one can try to stream snipe. All right, I see you. I see you in the chat, Mark. I see you in the chat, Aiden. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. What I would do though, if I was in their shoes, man, is just kind of have. Play maybe a little bit of 2 3 defense, right? Play a little bit of 2 3 defense and control Giannis so that way, as soon as a shot goes up, I'm not going for the rebound. I'm going for the fast break opportunities and leaking out for the easy buckets. But let's see how they go ahead and play it. I'll tip off here. Here we go. One side of Mark. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> ah, see, <laughs> Stally, I'm glad you got the joke because earlier I said I'm not Ronnie, but I could be Ronnie's long lost brother. So, you know, I mean, sometimes the jokes just have to be understood. Uh, tell Ronnie if he needs a little side character to go ahead and hire me. But as they're making the adjustments, <laughs> we'll go ahead and come back to our lovely faces here. What, do you, what are you expecting here? Give me a prediction. Is it going to be Aiden that forces mm. a game three suplex or is it going to be Mark that takes the championship home in a sweep? 
I do want to see a potential force from Aiden here to get into that game three. We saw some really good defense, and we do see the potential of that offense, but it just slipped out of his hands in that first game. Not quite able to have the amount of confidence that you can see from Mark. And on top of that, the team play, we're seeing the build. Hopefully, not going to be too much of a spoiler, but we will see just how, much, how effective it is because Aiden's got to make some miracles happen to make this game two solidly his own. Now, well, here we go. That's just going to be Mark that starts off with the possession. Pick and roll action at the top of the key. Ibaka with the pick and pop. Excuse me, that's the right side. Bobby Portis looking to start things off Ooh. with the fireworks as he drains the three from the right corner. Great shot there by Mark, and he's got a 3-0 lead. Mark is on top with the dark green jerseys, and Aiden is on the bottom with the whites as he's not going to get that one to go. Middleton misses the easy bunny. One more time back towards the three-point line, but we're on the inside towards the paint one more time. Aiden, sick of that moment for two. Bring that score line ever so close, but you got to get that lead. You want to make sure you can actually hold that offensive. That cushion of a lead is so valuable in a game like this. See, here's a conversation happening in the chat that I'd, I'd love to get some more insight on from everyone involved. Savage says, why would you start Bobby Portis? Jess responds and says because of the shooting, right? Bobby Portis apparently has more shooting. To me, I would still go ahead and keep Brooke Lopez simply because of the fact that he can shoot threes, maybe not as well as Bobby. I can't say, you know, with confirmation there, but he can still shoot mm. threes. And I think he's better in terms of rebounding, boxing out, defense, all that stuff. Uh, I would go ahead and keep Brooke Lopez. But again, I'm not the one playing. What is interesting, though, is that once someone put Bobby in, I don't know who it was first, the other player went ahead and put Bobby in as well. So try to match him up. Mano e Mano is that's going to be a foul call and wow. one Mark finishes at the rim, flexes those muscles five <laughs> to two Mark with the lead looking to make it four. And he does green shots here on the free. Once again, back on the offense for Aiden and it's looking so scary for the side of Aiden to try and make this comeback because one on one side, you need at least four points for this comeback, but once again, you're already down four. And, of course, that's all going to come into play. Out of bounds once again. Yeah. Aiden, uh, take Aiden, it slow. There's a big rectangle the that you got to stay inside. got to stay yeah. inside the rectangle. <laughs> Unless outside of that, you're out of bounds. Mm. I might not be the biggest 2K player, but I know I understand, understand that. Yeah, see? No, there you go. Right? <laughs> baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. We're getting there. Once again, Mark, just trying to get in. Once the, before the shot clock's all the way over, goes in the inside, nice little shot there. Yeah, Drew Holiday is not going to be a challenge for Giannis down low in the paint. Junior says playing with players you're comfortable with matters. I absolutely agree because, mm -hmm. you know, playing with the players that you're comfortable with helps you kind of continue the schemes on the offensive and defensive sides. You also then know where the icons are. And by the way, great switching so far. Wow. By Mark on the defensive side. Rotations are on point. And right when I say that Giannis gets left alone, he could have taken the three drives oh, no. to the paint. Giannis gets a foul call on him. Yeah, free shots for Aiden <laughs> one more time. I do want to say, I grew up playing NBA Jam, yo. Like, this is such oh, oh, a complete that. difference. In oh, that one misses. Oh, yeah, no, NBA Jam was amazing. <laughs> I love me some 2K, though. Probably my favorite game of all time. Yeah, 2K really showing off. These players are really showing off. Just how fun 2K can be, honestly. That one misses from the left side. Ibaka's not your Curry gang. And Middleton could have taken that shot, decides to hold it back. Hey, look, play 901. Don't tell Aiden, all right? I want to get ganged up on him. I want to get bullied here. <laughs> it was all jokes as that one gets stripped away. Great strip by Middleton on Giannis. Bobby Portis to the right side. Giannis with the spin move. Giannis with Dang. the finish at the rim. 10 to 3. What a dunk by Mark with the spin move coming from Giannis. It's all too much. You could, you know what? We had Steph be the absolute GOAT in our last set earlier today. But it's looking like Giannis might be the I want to keep an eye on every time in this kind of matchup. Aiden with it, calling a little pick and pop. And there's Middleton open. Could have taken that first shot. A little bit of hesitation move. Don't want to get three in the key. You got to go up with it. And he does. <sighs> Ibaka with a great defensive play. Giannis coming back on the other end. Middleton could have taken that one, but he gets it over to Giannis. Giannis can't hey. finish at the rim with the dunk, but the layup goes the same, and it counts the same amount of points as well. Quadrupled the score of Aiden Mark as here in the first. Yeah, if you're Mark, you're feeling absolutely amazing here. Quadrupling the score and also having that lead early 
it's gonna break be able to break that mental at least a little bit more get that flow going for you and on top of it all at least make sure that if you go into the second there's almost no way it's turned around just sitting comfortable gotta call a timeout if you're aiding to talk things over slow down the momentum have it kind of cool down the hot streak that mark has been on as that one's gonna get stolen again back-to-back -back steals by mark and obviously Giannis has the slashing badge It's a slow contemplative build up here for Mark. See a dive right to the inside, <laughs> swoops right past him. It's too easy. Yeah, I mean, he just kind of ran right around, wrapped right around Giannis, and he finished at the rim as this one's looking to do the same exact thing, but he can't finish at the rim because he doesn't have that badge. Yeah, I did mention we wanted to see even stronger defense here for both teams. We're seeing even stronger defense on the side of Polo, Mark. He would have locked down Aiden for this long. Giannis pick and pop with Ibaka. Has a man wide open on the right-hand side. I believe that's Middleton. Yep, that is Middleton who's going to finish at the rim. And Giannis, I thought he was going to try to swat it away. And they're making a little bit more adjustment. Something to keep an eye on is especially we talked about the five-out movement in the chat. And we'll see who matches up with who. Yeah, you can call freelancers, that's for sure. You can call ISOs and set up plays and different things like that to go ahead and get five out. Hmm. Two seconds left here, and that's going to be about a wrap for the first quarter. Just an absolute, yeah, I mean, just a great performance by Mark saying there is no way on God's green earth am I looking to go to a game three because let's be honest, Suplex, when you go to a game three, a game five, a game seven, anything can happen, and that's not what you oh, want. Yeah. Just the tension alone can make players act completely differently from how they normally would. Game three can not only be a test of courage, but also a test of bravery and uh, true consistency from not only who's leading, but also who's trying to make a comeback. Because on the side of Aiden, a verse to you, that would be absolutely fantastic. The dream, truly. On the side of Polo Merck, you got to keep playing like this as long as you can. If you burn out, I mean, it might just be the opportunity Aiden needs to try to make this comeback and start trying to really embarrass the lead that Mark's been trying to build up here. Yeah, no question about that one. As Mark still has Bash, that's the right side to Holiday as Ibaka is a little too late to contest, but doesn't matter. Late release with the air ball as Aiden with Bobby Portis against Giannis. That's not going to do it, but Giannis against anybody. Hey. Oh, and he missed it. Got One the more rebound time from back. Aiden. Back towards Gets. the logo, back towards the inside. And there it is, a huge dunk. You know you got it. Giannis is actually out here. We've got the queen of 2K gaming hanging out with us. Appreciate you joining us on this fine Tuesday night. Which one once again, going to hold on that lead. You see some more offense coming through, even more than usual. As uh, Aiden's trying to close down that gap, make it just an 11 point difference. If we got to be smaller, we could be sweating here. Oh, no foul call there. I'm a little bit surprised. As Bobby Portis secures a defensive rebound from Middleton to Giannis. Giannis going up against Middleton. And that's just too easy with the spin move. And here is Aiden coming back in the second quarter. Nice little run for him to cut the deficit down to single digits. Mark's got a nice pass going on here. But a little tip from the side of Aiden. Putting out of bounds. Going to run that play right back. 314 left to go. Mark's looking to pile it on with the lead here. Calling out a 5-0, but he gets a little bit of a pick play to try to get Middleton open. Not successful, though. We're only in the second half quarter here. This could be something special. We have a lot of time for the side of Aiden. Try and make this comeback. Try and make some defensive changes, make some offensive changes. Get some of the ball rolling, but at this point in time, it's just looking like Mark is going to be walking away with the second quarter. Scott free. Giannis goes ahead and makes the first one. Drains the second one as well, and the lead is back to double digits with 11. And challenging this defense right now. Trying to find a guaranteed way through. Not going to shoot for the three. Try and get on the inside one more time. Both inside shots not going to be doing quite enough to make you come back here. Need some more threes. Try to build it to the 18 point. See if you can break 20 before Mark breaks 30. Oh, and that's going to be a shot clock violation almost, but he goes in and gets it off. Can't secure the bucket or the rebound, though. And that's going to be a missed shot. Mark with the rebound with Giannis. 
Going up against Middleton. Should be an easy matchup. Oh, Middleton tried to swipe, and he missed, and that could be a right dot to Bobby Portis. Great job by Aiden to get back on the defensive what a end. Fake. But he gets too aggressive and tries to block Bobby when he didn't even go up for the shot, and he blows right past him. You see the confidence playing, coming out from Mark now as well. The plays he's making are just going only more dominant as Aiden's forced to try and get a little bit desperate for these defensive plays. Hey, man, tip off give, me a, give me an 11 point lead and a 1 0 lead in a best of three. I'll be confident too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You swipe see, right every time. Sitting pretty. <laughs> we'll pass over to the right side, possibly, as we see not too many defenders. Try to drag them away. This one chance. What a steal from Mark. A little bit over eager on the pass there from Aiden to try and see this time how much Mark can extend this lead to make himself even more comfortable in this lazy boy situation. Yeah, you can see him kind of milking the clock, which I don't quite understand because it's only the second quarter, but he's the one with the 1-0 lead as Giannis finishes Ooh. at the rim. Pick your poison. Great play there by Mark. Going back across the court one more time. And considering a shot, nothing too crazy yet. Trying to get out towards that three-point line, but... Going for the inside instead, and that's going to be an easy shot one more time. It's got to be something bigger, though. Those two pointers are not going to get you far enough to really catch up with Aiden. Let's really catch up with Mark. I mean, we're still 11 behind. Yeah, well, here's what's going to help Aiden out of those steals as he goes in and gets an extra possession right there, but you got to convert that to points. Less than a minute in the second. Down 11. Aiden with it. A chance on Ibaka here. Possibly a three. Pass it back over. Going up for the inside one more time, and it's an easy run in. Of course, he's a consistent at least, but you got to hope that Mark doesn't clap you back for it. Yeah, so far they've been trading buckets, and it goes back and forth between a 9-point lead and then an 11-point lead. At the moment, it's Mark looking to get the ball to Giannis. Oh, that's going to be taken away. Boy. Giannis getting secured. He was bouncing the ball around, and Giannis Huge finishes counter. up the rim. Absolutely beautiful for Maiden. That's got to be feeling amazing as you're only just, what, about seven points away now, and it's looking more and more possible. Slowly, slowly cutting the deficit down to single digits. Wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the third, it's Aiden that has the lead the way he's playing here in the second. Mark once again milking the clock, but he's got three seconds to attack the paint, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Kicks it out to Bobby. Great, great defense one more time by Aiden to make sure that shot had no chance of going in. And it is 24-17. to 17. Mark with the lead and the series lead as well. What are you expecting from the second half? I do want to expect at least a little bit more offensive play. I mean, we're expecting now or never attempts here from the side of Aiden. At this point in time, you got to try and force that lead. If you don't, then you're not going to have a game in your hands. The defense can wait. First of all, we've got to get those threes in, get those twos consistent, and above all else, steal the ball away from Mark. He cannot be allowed to play the game whatsoever. Yeah, nice pick and roll play there to get Bobby Portis on the slip. Dots him for the easy two. Five-point ball game. Mark with the lead here. He's got the ball. Now, if it does go, go to a game three, do you think we're going to see a team swap potentially, or do you think we're going to stick with the Bucs this entire time? I think time? we're going to so stick with the Bucs. I can imagine this is definitely a come for pick for both teams. Yeah. Oh, nice block there by Boy. Ibaka on Bobby Portis. Looking to push the pace is Giannis. Step back two, please don't do it. Thank you. Patience. Hey. All right, one more time on the outside. Hoping for a three, but diving right back in. You know Aiden's comfortable on the paint. And then we go one more time with that dunk. Man, just blew by the defender on the spin move to the point where a timeout needed to be called. And we have a three-point ball game. Aiden creeping slowly, just like the monsters under your bed, and cuts the deficit down to three. At one point, he was down at least 11, if not more. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful as an attempt to come back here. Aiden's looking absolutely waking up, woken up at this point in time. You can tell that, like, not only is Aiden really put in the work to make this comeback, but Mark's a bit shook. You can only imagine that the confidence that you're seeing before can only get a little bit more conservative as we see Aiden try to close this gap and potentially take it over. Yeah, and you got to make sure that you don't kind of get rattled if you're Mark, right? Kind of continue playing the way you've played because that's what gave you a blowout win in game one. Mm. That's what gave you a lead in game two is that one's not going to go. <sighs> and Aiden can go ahead and tie it up with a three here. 
The nerves are clearly And he's going to take the two. Smart smart decision just take the easy two, man. Take what the defense oh, yeah. gives you. Might as well. Might as well. As long as you're able to hold this defense, go for the twos, keep it consistent. As long as you're not taking twos as well. At least not taking threes, but there's a one two from Mark. Going to keep that lead just ever so barely on their side. Yeah, it looks like nobody decided to guard the paint that time. That was just an easy two for the drive. Rosary. Calling a pick with Bobby Portis. Is it going to be a pop or a roll? It's a roll. Had it open, but Giannis has a right man open. I... Oh, and that one gets tipped away. Look to get it to Middleton on the right-hand side, but it was tipped away by Middleton. Holiday's open on the left side, but gets it to him way too late. Who's still from Mark, Mark a little right now? slow with the decision-making. Taking his time, that's all right, honestly. I think the more you can burn the clock here, the more you might want to be comfortable because holding that lead, even if just barely, means a lot. What you don't want is to continue trying to milk the lead. He got a great shot off that time, but you don't want to force up ugly shots because that'll never mm. help you. You've got Mark fans in the chat. Curious to see if there are any Aiden fans in the chat hanging out with us. As Bobby Portis gets a... No, that one's going to hey. get blocked by Ibaka from behind. Bobby Portis thought it was sweet. It wasn't. Ibaka with the big block. Mark one more time. Ready for this offense. Ready to dive in there one more time. But again, the shot clock is draining. You see Mark take his time. Again, just holding this lead comfortably. Not trying to rush anything. Just go for another three. And just a bit too faulty. That early? I couldn't quite read it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was a red, a red shot, which is never a good thing. And that's going to be a foul. <laughs> Ibaka got excited and wanted to swat that one away. But the ref wasn't having this. That's a late release on the free throw by Bobby. Second free throw is good. And we're back to a four-point ball game. Minute 52 left to go in the third. Yeah, Aiden, you got a short amount of work ahead of you, but you got to make it happen. Mark has been broken before. You can see just how much you can steal from him, just how much you can actually outplay those offensive plays. And once again, the work is not too long at this point. Just four points behind with another quarter to go after this minute 30. Yeah, and that's a great defensive play there by Giannis. As Rosary, down two possessions, looking to make it one. Yeah, diving back down the court here. Aiden, of course, trying to get the control. Another big dunk coming out. This is the closest that Aiden has been since the end of the first quarter. Two-point lead. The deficit has evaporated from 10-plus to just two. It's big chance time now. It's just a matter of stopping Mark. You can't let him keep rolling with this. The moment you stop a play and keep it at two, it's the moment you can take that lead with a three, take it with a foul even. Anything you can, try and take that, take back that cushiony seat of holding the lead. Great defensive play. Can tie it up here or take the lead with a three, and he's going to go ahead and get a foul. Ah! Oh, he can't finish at the rim. Ibaka's going to shoot two. His free throws aren't easy, and just like oh, that, he misses no. the first one. Will he miss the second? Oh, he gets We've the green. One point lead for Mark as he's going to call a timeout. He can't believe it. The tension's got to be so high for Mark. I mean, no question. I can't imagine trying to at least think about a game plan as you've been playing just your natural style this whole time. And all of a sudden, you've got a contender wanting to take your throne out from right under you. Yeah, and you don't want to, you know, blow a lead, especially in a game two, because that can impact your psyche in game three, which we'll talk about if we head to a game three. But nonetheless, here we go. Less than 40 seconds left in the third. Mark with the one-point lead, and he's got ball. You look at Brooke Lopez back in the game. Oh, and that one should have been stripped away as Drew Holiday <laughs> looks to swipe him from the left-hand side. Back outside to the right is Middleton. Over to Lopez. Lopez looking to bully down low to Giannis, and that's going to be a foul call. That's the one to give. The next one's going to be at the line. Ibaka back over to Mark. Aiden as well, trying to find any way to try and shut out this defense. You need a way to not allow Mark to get this goal because this one-point differential is so important for the place you're in. This is your main chance. Oh! It's going to be a big dunk tearing right through for Mark, making that challenge to get past that initial um, even line that much harder for Aiden. Was a monster slam there by Giannis, and now we go to the fourth quarter with the three-point lead for Mark. If he goes ahead and holds on, he becomes a champion for the Central Region. 
but there's still one more quarter to play. Five minutes left for Aiden to finish the comeback and force a game three. Yeah, this is truly beautiful stuff we're seeing here. The game three is just within reach for Aiden. All it takes is just that one mistake from Mark, that one lapse of judgment on the defense or even on the offense to allow Aiden to get a steal, get two huge hoops back to back, and then it's a wrap. But right now we've got a foul from Mark. Send that lead with these free throws. Really unfortunate oh. stuff, but we're going to get a whiff on the first one one more time. All right, we're in there. Guess the second one to go to make it a four-point ball game. Missing that first one can be crucial. We'll find out as the clock ticks to zero. But for now, it's a four-point lead. And look at that. So we talked about how one person went ahead and switched Bobby Portis in. The other one did the same thing. Mm. Once again, that should be a charge. And it is. The ref agrees with me as Holiday gets called for that one. And it's going to be Mark that's going to get possession of the ball here. But one person puts in Bobby, the other mimics. One person puts back Lopez, the other mimics. Mm. He's trying to level the playing field. Matter of fact, it looks like Bobby went ahead and moved to the four, and Ibaka may have come out of the game. The truest essence of a mirror match coming out right now. Yeah. Merch dropping the ball real quick. And Which, again, done. is fine because, you know, it's, it's the best gamer that can go ahead and win with that team that utilizes the strategy and everything else that comes along with it. Oh, yeah. I mean, above all else, a mirror match is a fun test of fundamentals and being able to really show off just how much you as a player have in your belt. The team can do so much, but when you have the same exact plays happening on both sides, I mean, it's just a matter of making sure who can truly make it as optimal as possible. Yeah, let's see which player steps up for Aiden to help come back in this ballgame. As Middleton is going to get fouled at the rim by Middleton. Can't finish at the hoop. Goes in and shoots two. Getting a few too many fouls good. here. And an easy sink. You know, it's the last match of the night when the Discord channels start to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing them wrap up and such. Yeah. Yeah. Last cast of the night. Right? <laughs> Doors are closed and Janet is sweeping up already. <laughs> oh, man. There's still popcorn stuck in my shoe, but we're still casting this match. And let's see if we have to cast a third one. There's once again Mark. Knows he's got the lead. Knows time is on his side, and he's milking it. Eight seconds left. Bobby Portis. Oh, he gets blocked one more wow. time by Ibaka. It's not the first time that's happened, and it probably won't be the last. And Aiden needs this, too. I mean, every chance he can get at blocking out Mark, every chance he can get at stifling that momentum is so, so important because now it's an even playing field. The chance to come back is so in reach. It's ever so slightly apart now, just six points away from reclaiming that throne, but you got to at least reach it first. It's been so close, but Mark has kept it just perfectly out of reach. Yeah, we'll see if Aiden is able to complete the comeback or not. That shot by Giannis is definitely not going to go. Aiden's got the rebound now. Got to push the tempo. Bobby Portis could have gone inside the paint, but you've got Middleton there. Middleton for the three. Is hey! that going to go? No, he left it no. short. Bobby Portis with the rebound. That would have been a big, big three for Aiden, but he can't finish from the left corner. The potential was certainly there, but it's not going to be happening this time. Mark hoping to get at least one more drive so we can make that lead that much more daunting for Aiden, and there it is. It's staggering eight points ahead with just three minutes left. It's not the longest road to be going oh. down, but when you miss shots like that, it's just heartbreaking. But the foul yeah, will be all right. Oh, he leaves that one short, man. Nice. He can't convert the first one. Second one's coming up. Little can't get there. that one to go. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Got to move on. There will be more chances. You got another 250. Got to make them count. Oh, Mark had a chance to take the three, but once again, milking the clock as he gets it to Giannis, now being double teamed. And that one's going to get stripped away. Great double team by Ibaka. Has Middleton on the right-hand side. He's going to take the two instead. Right. And that one doesn't go. Giannis rebound. with the rebound. Giannis nice. with the putback. It may have been a little sloppy, but we got it done. Aiden, of course, closing down that lead little by little. Little by little. And now it's a six-point lead. 
Portis bringing it up the court, has a decision to make to Dot, and yes, he does. But Aiden knows it too well, and he goes ahead and guards the right side. Here's Mark with it. A player in your chart and your group has started a party. The party can wait. We've got a championship to play here. All right. Fashionably late. We're about done here. Yeah. <laughs> that is, unless Aiden has something to say about it. Moving to the inside Giannis. paint. Hoping for a shot. Come on. And we've seen not a lot of threes come up from Aiden as well, and he needs them so bad. Yeah, and that's one of those things where if you're not confident in your shot, it can really make you one dimensional in terms of your offense. And it's easy for the defense to just go in and collapse every single time to stop those rim runs in the paint. Mm. I mean, even long range shots from the line of the three has been extremely rare to see from both teams, not just Aiden. So I'm shocked to see it's a, especially a heavily inside game, but the ankles are broken. And one more time, we're going to move forward on the side of Mark to hopefully get this ball started one more time. Just six points of difference one more time. And Aiden's in the same position he was in last time. But I'm sure he's feeling a little bit better about it. <laughs> hey, why don't I get invited to the party? Claps, come on. <laughs> Somebody invite me to the party chat. Six points separating these two. Mark is looking to rim run with Giannis, and everybody knows it. He does, tosses it to the left side to Holiday. Holiday can't finish at the rim. Great mm. defense there by Aiden. Bobby Portis with it now. Gets it over to Middleton. Middleton dots the left side to Giannis. Giannis doesn't have a clear lane to the basket. Kicks it back out to Portis. Portis with it now. Had Holiday on the left hash for the three, but he takes the two himself to make it a five-point ball game. A less than a minute left to go. Four points of difference. This could be a sudden death match. Aiden could make this overtime if he can just score those two twos on the inside and stop out Mark from playing the game. But a foul. Get a little too antsy one more time. The pressure's got to be reaching them. The palms are getting sweaty. Like mom spaghetti, you've got to go ahead and come up with the clutchest plays on the defensive side and convert them to the offensive side as well. Threes is what you need, but first you got to go ahead and get a stop here. Cannot foul. Okay. We just. <laughs> All right. That's got to be heartbreaking. All right, bro. With just 40 seconds left as well. Aiden, you need a miracle at this point, yo. The One second free from throw Mark. from Bobby Portis is good. Making it a six-point ball game. Still within reach, but you need a three and try to go for a two-for-one, and you need a three quick. Would have called a little pick and pop with Bobby Portis. Here's Ibaka. He's going to take the easy two, Ooh. making it a four-point ball game. Eight seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. It's looking terrifying right now for Aiden. As Marcus. That's the left side. Oh, I love that. I love that suplex. Knows he's got the lead. Knows he doesn't need to rush a shot and miss oh, yeah. and create an opportunity. We smart, take our time here. Smart IQ play by Mark. Yeah, that's all you need. Just take your time. Go for a three. Don't worry about it too much because it's 10 seconds. Here we go. For Aiden you need something quick. Here. Is it going to be Holiday with the shot? Left side is Middleton. The shot threes. is. Oh, he missed ah! it. <laughs> it was he now or never. This is it. And that's going to be a wrap. Mark. Oh, man. 39 to 35. Mark goes ahead and takes game two, which means he goes ahead and takes home the crown to be the central region champs for this play versus fall 22 high school championships. <laughs> that was close. Aiden almost came back and forced a game three there. That was truly a beautiful head to head. You saw just how much Aiden adapted, try and make that game two as competitive as possible. But you saw how Mark just said, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna kill my lead. I'm not gonna worry about you too much. Let me hold this, make your fouls where you'd like to. But above all else, my offense is clearly just that much stronger. And without threes on hand, it's gonna be that much harder to make that comeback a reality because if you're going just two for two every single time, you're gonna get that stalemate like we saw in game two, where it's just not able to break through. Yeah, shout out to Aiden, shout out to Roland High School, and of course, shout out to Alabama School of Mathematics and Science. And a last shout out to my man, Mark, who went ahead and won the championships for the Central Region. Uh, it was great to watch those two play Duke it out. Bucks versus Bucks. Looks like the better player won. Don't miss your school bus tomorrow. But that's going to do it for <laughs> us. I'm Made in India. That's Suplex. On behalf of all the men and women behind the screens that make this possible, we appreciate you watching us, and we'll see you next time. Good night.